Welcome to Synagogues of Michigan, Part 4. In this episode, we look at the Jewish presence in three cities that are in the southwest section of the state near the Lake Michigan side. They are Muskegon, Grand Rapids, and South Haven. We first turn our attention to Muskegon. This is Congregation B'nai Israel, a reform congregation. In recent years, Rabbi Alan Alpert has been their spiritual leader. This building was dedicated in 1948, as has been with other small towns. The Jewish population has declined. At best, there are 60 members associated with this synagogue. Even though relatively a small congregation, in 2012, 33 of its members took a trip together to visit the state of Israel. Let's move on now to another city with a larger Jewish presence, Grand Rapids. There are over 190,000 people living in Grand Rapids. At one time, it was considered the furniture capital of the United States, and it's still home to five of the world's leading office furniture companies. There are currently three Jewish houses of worship in this city. The one that we are looking at is Congregation Ahavas Israel, affiliated with the conservative movement. Ahavas Israel translated means for the love of Israel. Its history dates back to 1892 when the first Orthodox congregation in the city was formed called Temple Beth Israel. And it grew pretty quickly over the next 20 years. But in 1911, there was a dispute among the congregants, so a second Orthodox congregation was created, and it was called Ahavas Achim, and it was located on the west side of the city. Over the next 16 years after that, both congregations grew and were about the same size when they merged together in 1937, becoming Congregation Ahavas Israel. After World War II in 1947, it switched to the conservative affiliation. Its spiritual leader is Rabbi David J.B. Krishef. He has been so since 1994. Our next stop in Grand Rapids is at Temple Emmanuel, a reform congregation. It claims to be the fifth oldest Reformed congregation in the United States, having been founded in 1857. This building here was erected in 1952. Additional renovating was done in 1992. Shabbat services are held every Friday evening. Its spiritual leader since 2000 is Rabbi Michael Shattuck. And now we turn our attention to the third house of worship. Hidden somewhere behind those trees is the Chabad House of Western Michigan. Note the standing menorah on the front lawn. This facility caters to those who are looking for a more traditional observance of the Jewish religion, yet being shown tolerance for not practicing it to its strict adherence. Lubavitch Chabad has had a presence in Grand Rapids for more than 35 years. I recall visiting here in the early 1990s. Rabbi Yosef Weingarten is its director, and there is a mikvah or ritual bath facility attached to the building. And now on to our third city, South Haven. This is First Hebrew Congregation. It was built in 1929 with significant renovations in 1997. It has somewhat of a split personality. During the regular course of the year, it is a Reformed congregation, but during the summer months, it is inundated with vacationers from Chicago who practice the Orthodox customs, as they also provide financial relief to the congregation. Their request to have a Saturday morning Shabbat 
Orthodox service during the summer has been accommodated. And on the high holidays, after all the Chicago vacationers have returned home, it has a non-egalitarian traditional conservative service. Another note about the South Haven area. In another part of town, Agudas Israel, the very strictly orthodox or black hat practice of Judaism, has an overnight day camp during the summer months. It has its own separate Shabbat services. That's it for this edition of Synagogues of Michigan. Bye for now. Hope to see you soon.